actually project manager on this project on leveraging agriculture for nutrition in South Asia. So before I go on to that, I, I think it will be useful to give a brief about what we do at the MS Swaminathan Research uh, Foundation, per se. And we are an organization working for sustainable rural development in the areas of food security, biodiversity conservation, coastal systems research, eco-technology, using ICT for rural development, climate change, as well as biotechnology to meet uh, current needs like you know, increasing salinization in coastal areas or uh, to have how to address problems of drought resistance, etc. And uh, we work on both research as well as developing models and demonstrating models that work at the ground level and then work for policy advocacy for upscaling and replication. And uh, through our 25 years uh, of experience, we have had, there have been instances where we've also had an opportunity to interact uh, across uh, India, South Asia, as well as with African countries. And especially in the, in the light of the discussion that happened in the morning the use of ICT for rural development. We have led a couple of South-South uh, travel exchange workshops where we have had representatives from African countries come to India to, and uh, travel with us to see the village knowledge centers model that we have been working on and how ICT and uh, you know, modern communication technology is being used to deliver need-based information at the grassroots level. Similarly, in the case of food security, we have these models of community food grain banks uh, to address the problem of uh, lean season scarcity in you know, remote locations. The model of community hunger fighters on which there is a panel here uh, in the hall for you to see. And uh, there is the bio-village model of sustainable uh, rural development based on sustainable use of available natural resources and uh, to create both on-farm and off-farm employment opportunities. And this model has been adapted as the Millennium Villages pr uh, project for in uh, Africa, a model, of, uh, a project being implemented by the Earth Institute and uh, UNDP. Uh, coming to this, the, lever the project on leveraging agriculture for nutrition in South Asia, Lancer, uh, it's a research program consortium supported by uh, DFIT. And, uh, under which we are working to demonstrate a farming system for nutrition initiative in a, few, in a cluster of few villages in uh, two different ag agroecological regions in India, in Orissa and in Vidarbha and Maharashtra. And uh, we thought this would be relevant uh, given that uh, our friends in Africa also have similar problems of a high population dependent on agriculture as well as a problem of uh, having a high level of population who are malnourished. And uh, so la again, Lansa has, we have partners in Bangladesh, Pakistan, and through the Farming System for Nutrition Initiative, we're trying to develop, a, demonstrate a model which can be taken, uh, or which would be applicable to these neighboring countries as well, and uh, we could look at other models, uh, I mean, the relevance elsewhere. Uh, Lansa has started its work only last year, and uh, we are right now in the, pro in the project implementation phase. So what I would be sharing is what we are trying to do under farming system for nutrition. So basically, when we talk of you know, models at the ground level, it's like it's, uh, we try to look at one or two initiatives, maybe in the crop husbandry sector or nutrition gardens, and then to increase home-based consumption or addressing animal husbandry. And what uh, we're trying to do under farming system for nutrition and also to bring in a nutrition focus to agriculture because there is also this divergence like agriculture's focus has largely been on increasing production productivity but not looking at the nutrition angle. So the farming system for nutrition initiative is trying to bring in or introduce, uh, bring in agriculture from the perspective of the need to address the nutrition problems at the ground level. So to understand the nutrition status at the prevailing nutrition status and based on that devise the strategies that would be needed, combining crop husbandry, animal husbandry, uh, as well as 
you know, homestead gardening, pisciculture, the whole gamut. Agriculture is not just crop cultivation, but the whole gamut of uh, agriculture and allied activities. And to make them work at the ground level, combined with nutrition literacy and awareness programs, where use of you know, ICT would uh, be an important component, creating a cadre of community hunger fighters would be an important component, and creating, uh, also addressing problems of you know, food, uh, besides production, food processing and safety, etc. And looking, keeping in mind the gender uh, issues involved and the age dimensions of the population that you're addressing. So starting with focus on pregnant and lactating women and the young child, the first thousand days of the child. So this is a model we are working on and we would be happy to share the lessons as they come forth. Like I said, we are still in the initial stages and uh, but uh, Deepika and uh, Diffit suggested that we present it given the context of, you know, or that it would be relevant uh, for the African scene as well. So that's briefly about it.